After Lavar Ball blasts Trump and sends sons to play overseas, karma strikes in pro debut. When Lee Angelo Ball was caught shoplifting during a trip to China in November, President Donald Trump was kind enough to place a call to Chinese President Xi Jinping to secure the release of the UCLA basketball player so that he could be dealt with stateside. However, Lee Angelo's ungrateful father Lavar Ball blasted President Trump instead of thanking him, as he should have done, and subsequently pulled both of his sons out of school to play basketball overseas. Before long, though, karma struck during the boys' professional debut. You would think that Lavar Ball would have been on his knees thanking the president for saving his son from spending the next decade in a decrepit Chinese prison, but that's not what he did. Instead, Lavar embarked on a full-blown Trump bashing tour, ultimately sending both of his sons to play basketball overseas. Well, this has since proven to be a very bad move, because karma struck the family of disrespectful, self-entitled athletes during their professional debut in Lithuania. If you're not an avid basketball fan, you probably weren't familiar with the Ball family before Lee Angelo was caught shoplifting during a trip to China in November. The Balls began making headlines soon thereafter because of the response Lee Angelo's father, Lavar, had after President Donald Trump implore Chinese President Xi Jinping to release Lee Angelo and the other UCLA basketball players who committed the same offense. Lavar Ball, the father of Lee Angelo Ball, who had been arrested and later absolved of shoplifting charges last week in China, made slight of President Donald Trump's involvement regarding the release of his son and the two other UCLA players. Who? Lavar Ball told ESPN on Friday, regarding Trump's influence on the shoplifting case. What was he over there for? Don't tell me nothing. Everybody wants to make it seem like he helped me out. In response to Lavar Ball, Trump's social media director Dan Scavino took to Twitter Saturday afternoon and said that Lee Angelo and his teammates would be in China for a long, long, long time, if Trump hadn't intervened. Source, International Business Times Now, no one will likely remember the names of the three other UCLA students who shoplifted along with Lee Angelo in China. In the grand scheme of things, their crime will amount to little more than a stupid decision made by a few entitled young college athletes. They will probably go on to continue playing basketball and stand every chance of enjoying lucrative careers. That's because they didn't turn their crime into an opportunity to trash President Donald Trump. The balls, on the other hand, showed no gratitude after President Trump secured Lee Angelo's release instead of allowing him to rot in a foreign prison like others who were unfortunate enough to find themselves on the wrong side of the law while overseas. Then, Lavar pulled Lee Angelo and his brother out of school altogether, packed the family up, and moved them to Lithuania to try their hand at playing professional ball there. Well, that hasn't exactly worked out the way they hoped it would. UCLA ended up suspending Lee Angelo for the rest of the season as a result of the shoplifting incident. Lavar reacted to the news by pulling his son out of college, as well as his younger brother, Lamelo, from high school and brought them overseas to play for a professional team in Lithuania. However, things aren't turning out as Lavar would have hoped. In their pro debut in Lithuania against the Lyakawa's Pain of Seas, neither brother scored a single point. The two went a combined 0 for 7 from the floor, and their team, BC Priyanai, lost, 95 86. Source, IJR. The one time that Lee Angelo did score, his foot was out of bounds. In similarly disappointing fashion, the only time Lamelo was able to score was after the buzzer went off. Lavar tried to blame his son's embarrassing professional debut on their coaches saying after the game that they need to play my boys together more, but it was already clear that despite all of the media hype surrounding the Ball family lately, they're sorely lacking any kind of real talent. It would appear that things aren't going much better for the Balls in Lithuania than they did in the US, or in China, for that matter. The common denominator in this equation seems to be the people involved, not the locale. Perhaps it's time for Lavar Ball and his sons to gain some perspective and gratitude. Otherwise, the Balls can kiss their already pathetic careers goodbye, and then, what will they have? No education and no real-life experience, 
save for the time one of them tried to rip off a high-end store during an international trip. Somebody needs to tell these idiots that they're going to need more than a rap sheet if they want to get anywhere in life, in life.